Bat-eared foxes, like this family here, are members of the canid family. You know, dogs, carnivores. But do these guys eat nice, juicy mammals like their brethren? <laughs> nope. Lizards, dangerous scorpions, and tiny bugs will do just fine most of the time. Here in the sweltering Kalahari Desert in Africa, that diet may be easier to come by than some others. And the foot-and-a-half-long bat-eared fox has developed just the tool it needs to find these creatures. It's oversized, five-inch-long ears. The ears are sensitive enough to pick up the scratching sounds of critters underground. At other times, when predators are stalking, the ears are the fox's early warning system. Now, this is where the day-to-day -day life of the bat-eared fox ends and the soap opera begins. The little female we saw earlier is growing up, and she's ready to mate. Dad, meanwhile, is still protecting his baby girl. She leaves scent marks. Dad covers him up. A male finds her anyway, and they court. But Dad will have none of that. He stomps towards them, and they cower. The daughter gets between her father and her suitor, but the suitor is out of luck. The suitor eventually comes back, exhibiting deference, asking for the daughter, and that's just what the proud papa wanted. And so, the bat-eared fox life cycle begins again.